everybody. We, we've started our epic road trip to Newfoundland and we weren't going to film. We were going to take a little break and enjoy our road trip and only start filming once we got to the ferry over to Newfoundland, but there's just way too much cool stuff. So welcome, welcome to, to New, New Brunswick. Brunswick. This is our first little pit stop today. We have the world's largest Long or longest, longest covered, covered bridge. bridge behind us. It's how many feet? Um, 1,282 feet long. Yeah, so weird. There's no <laughs> clearance signs. Normally you would have a clearance sign and um, it just says maximum three tons. I think we would fit, but I don't think we're going to change We're not going to risk it. And we are here in Heartland, New Brunswick. Yep. And do you know when this bridge was constructed, Jan? I do not. I, I knew that. <laughs> Do you know when 1901 it was? is when oh. they started construction. I did not expect it to be like a fully functioning bridge where like people use it as everyday roadway, but yep. that's totally what it is. It's only one lane. So you drive up here to the stop sign, you sort of just look down the bridge and if it's clear you go <laughs> and if there's somebody coming you wait. <laughs> it seems pretty civilized, but yeah, people really zoom through here. I know. But let's go check it out. All right. Like, it is long. This is the pedestrian entrance. Oh my gosh, you can see water through it. Okay, this is really long. I had no idea this existed. Okay, worth the trip if you happen to be going through New Brunswick on your way to Fredericton or down east. Uh, have a stop. It's like three minutes. It was like five minutes off the highway, if that. So... Well, we made it to Fundy National Park. And oh my God, like this view is like epic. Wow. So we've driven through the park. It's There's a full highway that goes right through. You do have to stop and get a pass if you're going to be stopping anywhere like this lookout that we're at. This is the Bay of Fundy and when you look across at this lookout, you're literally looking at Nova Scotia way over there. It is, it, ga it gave Wild. us goosebumps when we yeah. came around the corner. It is stunning. <laughs> here in Alma. Yeah, Alma is at the base or sort of the entry point at the one end of Fundy National Park. And oh my gosh, it's a cute little town. Oh, yeah. So we are out here on Alma Beach. Oh, see Nova Scotia over there. That's pretty awesome. It's so okay, this is a really nice beach, just so East Coast yeah. looking, and I'm excited to wander into town. So that's actually where we're headed now. Okay, folks, we're here at Tipsy Tales. Um, it's a lovely little seafood restaurant. You can see our view. We're right here on the patio beside the ocean. And uh, yeah, so we ordered uh, some drinks and we ordered um, an order of scallops and some like truffle fries, I think. Is that what they're called, Jan? Or? Oh yeah, we are so supporting local. We have a local cider. We have Cavendish potatoes with a truffle salt, some garlic aioli and Parmesan, and some infamous Bundy Bay scallops. We're just here trying to support local folks. I know. I'm gonna let Mitch try the scallops first. Mm, delicious. Ooh, wow, you have to try, they're so good. <laughs> Are they so good? They're actually really good. Like, there's nothing like some fresh scallops. Look at that, they're like nicely fried. Oh my goodness, those are outstanding. Come to Tipsy Tales or anywhere out east and get some seafood. 
We're starting today with scallops. I'm sure there'll be lots more on our adventures across Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. And right now we're gonna go and eat. Cheers. Five star. Welcome to Hopewell Rocks Provincial Park, everybody. <laughs> I am so excited. Get to walk on the seabed today. That's going to be wicked. Yes, we've come to Hopewell Rocks, so you might know those as the famous sea stacks or flower pots. And we're out in New Brunswick at the Bay of Fundy. So if you are coming, do make sure that you check the tide schedule for when you want to come. If you come at high tide, you're able to kayak around the rocks. If you come at low tide, you're able to walk on the ocean floor. And how much did that cost us, Mitch? It was $15.85 per person. And you can opt for a shuttle service down to the ocean floor, which is about $2 per person um, per trip, I believe. Uh, we opted for the leisurely 15 minute walk and it's a beautiful um, walking path. Um, they also give you the ticket and you get it for two consecutive days. They encourage you to come and see the rocks at high tide and then again at low tide or vice versa, just so you can really appreciate the difference. Unfortunately, we won't have time for that. We are just coming at low tide today to go walk the ocean floor around the rocks. And Mitch, I think, has some facts about the Bay of Fundy and the tides. Well, yeah, I'm just reading this here and it says, imagine 160 billion tons of water moving in and out of the bay twice every 25 hours. Like that is just insane. And it looks like um, it can rise or uh, descend at a rate of 13 feet per hour. That's crazy. That's what it looks like now. Water up. And it's 46 feet. 46 feet here, and we're not totally at uh, low tide, we're basically right in the middle. So I think we should head down. All right. Uh, definitely not. Folks. We opted for our rubber Birkenstocks, which is a great choice. <laughs> yes. Okay, so there is so much to explore down here. It's massive. And we thought we were done. We turned a corner and then here this is. And it's just stunning. Like these sea stacks are crazy. Highly, highly, highly recommend if you're in your area, you have to do this. It's, it's great. And like I would actually like to do it well and like, like kayak around the stacks and all that kind of stuff that would be really really cool this place is definitely worth a longer stay we need to come back yeah definitely yeah. oh we just came around this corner bud okay so when you think it's done this happens like check this out this is wild like we could kind wow. of see it but you come around the corner and it's just stack looks quite top heavy and it's leaning but like how is this I I don't know it's a it's a wonder of the world <laughs> it is so we've reached the end so when we came down the stairs we went right and that seems to be the end you can't walk anymore so I think we're gonna head back and I think when you came down the stairs we could have went left so we're gonna see if we can do that and explore some more but like I know I say wow a lot folks but uh, this is simply amazing okay so to demonstrate um, just how high the tides are and how much the water changes we're actually quite low down you can see on the beach we're by the water line and Mitch is gonna stand by the water line so you can see like you can, you can see where the water line is just up above the um, the green ring up there but like what <laughs> crazy and the tide is halfway up already yeah it is 
Okay, so now we're uh, to the left of the stairs when you come down and um, it goes on. <laughs> like, look at this. This is a little mud over here. I don't know if you yeah. can see where the water is receding to, but this is incredible. But folks, seriously, I am in shock that this is Canada and we have all this beautiful, uh, you know, beautiful things to see and this is just awesome. So highly recommend. Definitely worth the price of admission. Well, that pretty much wraps things up here at Hopewell Rocks. I think we spent about an hour wandering around down here. It's it's just phenomenal. We cannot highly recommend enough. Just come here. It's worth the price of admission. We're going to make our way up now. I'm going to find a foot washing station, clean our feet. And I don't know what else. We don't really have any other plans in New Brunswick today. The film might end here. They're getting ready for high tide. They're bringing the kayaks down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So remember, if you're coming in high tide, maybe you want to hook yourself up with one of the kayaks. We're not sure what the price is, but... Uncle we'll... Google will tell you. Yeah, if we see it, we'll, we'll mention it. And don't worry about your muddy feet. They have a great foot washing station. I didn't have to wash mine because I was very careful, but Jan, on the other hand, didn't fare out so well. So we were just down way over there, um, only probably about 20 minutes ago and now the tide has come in and they've obviously removed everyone from the beach because we were down there looking up. Okay, so there is a bunch of trails and lookouts you can go to. Um, I think we've done as much as we want to do right now, but we are going to head into the, uh, the interpretive center and uh, see what's... Uh, all there. There's also, just so you know, there's lots of picnic tables around here. So if you've brought a lunch or something you want to eat, there's also cafes around here. There is public washrooms. There's also a huge kids playground and they're under construction right now, putting down what appears to be a beautiful new entrance walkway to the discovery or the interpretive center. So yeah, like Mitch said, we're going to head in there now. Okay. Well, we keep saying that we're going to the discovery center and then we discover something else. So <laughs> just around back of the discovery center, there's a gorgeous look out. There's a big lawn where everybody's laying. There's a restaurant up there with a big deck. They appear to have some cooked goods based on the containers that are coming out. But check out this view so you could order from the restaurant and then Wild. sit at a picnic table on the lawn or on the deck. Where are we, Mitch? We're in the interpretive center. That looks really cool. Okay, so that wraps up Hopewell Rocks. Um, we had an amazing time. We are now gonna just cook up some lunch while we're in the parking lot. And we gotta get out of here because we are still heading to Newfoundland. Uh, we picked up some swag. Mitch needed a new hat. And we got a sticker, of course, to add to our sticker collection. So we hoped you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. It really helps us out. If you wanna see more of our adventures, don't forget to subscribe because the next time you see us, we're going to be at the ferry terminal in Sydney, Nova Scotia, getting ready to head to Newfoundland. Be free.